Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to talk about what is constraint layout in Android Studio and uh, we will learn about constraint layout from beginners to advanced level so before start please i request you to subscribe our YouTube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos let's start so the constraint layout is one of the most powerful layout in Android Studio and you can also call it the advanced version of relative layout and you can make much responsive user interfaces using constraint layout constraint layout is feature rich and uh, its speed is greater than relative layout okay guys this is our android studio and uh, you can see that here our root level uh, layout is constraint layout you can also see this in our code and uh, let me just drag and drop this text view inside my uh, app and uh, here you can see that this is our text view uh, in constraint layout we constraint our views vertically and horizontally as well uh, i will show you demo so Suppose this is our view but uh, if you will leave this as it is when you will run your app uh, your text view will appear at zero zero position means at the top less left side of your screen uh, so you need to constrain it uh, vertically as well let me drag this and draw this to the upper side of the screen and drag and draw this at the left side of the screen suppose now uh, let me drag this at this position so guys now when you will run your app your text view will appear at uh, this position it will took 32 dp margin from the top and 52 dp margin from the left suppose you want your text view at uh, exactly center of your screen what you will do uh, you have to constrain it to the right and constrain it to the bottom as well by doing this your text view will appear exactly at the center position of your screen in any screen size so guys because you know uh, when you make android app there are different type and different uh, different sizes there are different sizes of uh, different android mobiles so you need to make sure that your android layout is responsive okay guys suppose you want your text view at this position what you will do uh, you cannot just drag your text view and uh, drop at this position uh, because it will not responsive it will not be responsive uh, at some screen sizes your text view will appear at this position at some screen sizes your text view will appear at this position so to deal with such type of condition android should provide you this uh, vertical bias and horizontal bias as well so what does it mean suppose uh, you can see that now it is at 25 position your vertical bias is at 25 position and now your text view will be uh, at uh, 1 by 4th position of your screen vertically guys I hope uh, you will understand what I am trying to say uh, that now your text view is exactly at, uh, at the 25 percent of your screen and same as if you want your text view uh, to your this position so you have to use your horizontal bias now you can see that 25 so what does this position means that uh, it will divide your screen into uh, suppose 100 parts so 50% of your screen is here and again it will divide your screen uh, in two parts so that's why your text view is at this position 25 so guys I hope you will understand that what I am trying to say that uh, this is the way uh, to make your view suppose text view or button at any position in a responsive way using constraint layout guys next one thing I want to tell you is uh, suppose I'm dragging a button here I want to tell you that you can constrain your views uh, with each other suppose this is a button this is our text view and uh, I can constrain my button top at the bottom of text view and uh, my button left at the left side of the text view and my button right at the right side of the text view so guys now you can see that let me increase that te uh, text size of our text view text size this is 14 sp i'm going to change it to the 20 sp so you can view it correctly okay guys now you can see that our button is uh, constrained with our text view when i will move our text view our button will also moved because our button is dependent on text view so because we have constrained our button with the text view that's why when we will move our text view our button will uh, move as well so this is one of the also one of the most important concept in constraint layout because when we make professionally a user interfaces uh, we constrain our views with each other to make them responsive okay guys now we will learn about chains in android studio so let me show you with an example what are chains uh, first of all i'm going to drag three buttons into my screen yes guys suppose uh, we want uh, these buttons aligned vertically center what we will do i will just select this one uh, with uh, by using my mouse and uh, you have to click on this align button and uh, you just 
just have to click on vertically uh, you can see that our buttons have been aligned center vertically now we will you have to click on right click uh, guys make sure your three buttons must be selected before click the right click now i'm going to right click and click on chains and create horizontal chains guys you can see that a chain have been created between our buttons so suppose i want to give equal width to our buttons i have to just do one thing select the first button and uh, its width would be 0 dp select the second button it the width it's uh, the width would be 0 dp and uh, 0 dp width of the third button as well guys now you can see that our three buttons are divided in equal uh, widths so it will help you to make responsive designs in any screen size your these three buttons will be of equal size okay guys similarly you can create vertical chain as well to create vertical chain you again just have to dr drag the buttons and uh, select them and click on vertical so you can see that your buttons are centered vert vertically and uh, the chain have been also created between them and uh, when you will click on horizontal your buttons will be uh, central vertically and horizontally and guys now you can easily see uh, the chains between them again guys make sure to select them right click you can see and uh, click on the chains as you can see that our chain have been created so let us click on packed using our chain concept you can see that our buttons are packed i mean with uh, there is no uh, width between those buttons vertically so guys this was the concept of chains in a uh, uh, constraint layout and uh, when you make professional layouts you you use the chains between your views you can also research more uh, on youtube and uh, to learn about chains concept okay guys at last we will talk about guideline guys suppose you insert a lot of view in your screen and uh, you know when you make professional screen sizes you give some margin from the left and from the right side as well so you don't need to give margin to your any of your view you just have to use guideline just right click on your screen and uh, select add helpers and vertical guideline when you will click on this you can see that a vertical guideline have been appeared in my screen and uh, by default it have 20 dp margin from left side uh but uh, i want maybe 16 dp margin from left side and guys you can constraint uh first of all let me delete this button from my screen guys suppose i have a button and now you can constrain your button with the guideline easily constrain it top and uh, by using this technique you don't need to give margin left to any of your view you just have to add a guideline and uh, you can uh, constrain all of your views with this guideline so guys this was a uh, beginner guys for the uh, young programmers who are entering in android development i hope that you will must like this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please i request you to subscribe our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos and finally thanks for watching